here are some other shapes, okay? So I'm not gonna go into all of these, but you can see that I can draw a rectangle, an oval, a circle, or a line, right? Uh, and so rectangles, I'm gonna specify the top left coordinate, okay? Uh, with a width and a height. For an oval, we're gonna specify the center location. So let's just do that real quick. Oh, let's fix my border right there, okay? I can write an oval, okay? And I can put that at 200, 200, which again is right in the center. And then the width and the height. So maybe I want it to be like 20 wide and uh, 30 tall, right? So if I draw this, I get a little oval, okay? Uh, I can do the same thing with a circle, but circles only have uh, one uh, width, right? So a circle is kind of like an oval. So again, I'll do it at 200, 200. We'll do this one at 100, 100, so we can space these out. Okay, 100, 100. Okay. And this one, we're gonna say radius uh, 40, right? And so there it is, okay? And now the line one is a little bit trickier, so I can I can specify a line, okay? And it's asking for the start X, start Y. So I'm gonna say zero, zero. So it's gonna start in this top left cor uh, corner here, okay? And it's asking about its end X and end Y. So where do you want the line to end? So I'm gonna have it end at 200, 200, okay? And I'm gonna run, okay? So you can see that it drew a line that started at 200, or at zero, zero, and ended at 200, 200, okay? So it actually, you have four required values but those four required values are really just one point followed by another point, the beginning and the end, okay? So again, I, I welcome you to take a look at the docs and colors uh, tab. So you can see that, again, if I type in like the word line, okay? I can see that there are optional parameters for line, right? So fill color will be the color of the, the line itself. How wide is the line? Is it a dashed line? Uh, and you can also add arrows to the end, uh, the beginning and the end of your, your line as well, okay? So each of these shapes might have some unique parameters that you can go into and take a look at. And if you have any questions about those, just go down in the comments and ask me about them, and I'm happy to, uh, to answer them in the comments. But I don't want to spend the whole video doing these, okay? All right, so here's our kind of final little bit of it. We have uh, a few more shapes to talk about, and then we have successfully summarized all of unit one, okay? So I'm gonna start off by in the docs and colors, going to the label, okay? And so what a label is, it is basically like if you wanted to add text, okay? So let's start off by going to our sandbox, okay? So let's just add some text. I'm gonna get rid of all of this, okay? If I wanted to add a piece of text, so I'm gonna say label, okay? And then inside of quotes, I'm gonna say, what text do I want to write, okay? That's the text, followed by, the location that we want the text to be. So maybe I want it to be right in the center of the canvas again. So at 200, 200, I'm gonna write the word, hello world. There it is, okay? So if I go to documentation, yeah, you can see that again for labels, okay? Oh, let's go to our label again, okay? So you can see that it's asking for a value, center X, center Y, those are all required values, okay? But then there again, there's a lot of optional stuff that I can do to, to the picture. I can specify the size. So maybe I don't want it to be this tiny little one, right? And I want it to be size, uh, let's say 40, okay? Size equals 40, okay? And I run, much bigger, I like that, okay? I can change the font, okay? There are only a, spe a, a certain number of fonts that I can use, okay? So it says right now uh, the font can only be the word Arial or the word Monospace. Those are two different types of fonts, okay? And, and again, you can go through all the rest of them and see what else you can do uh, with labels, okay? So let me get back to that, okay? Uh, you can rotate them, you can align them, you can make them visible. All, a lot of the same stuff that we've seen before, okay? Bold and italicized would be special for that, okay? So we can add text. Okay, and then the, the last two shapes are a little bit more complicated, so I did want to dedicate a little bit of time to them. So if I go to regular polygon, okay, a regular polygon, if, if you've taken a geometry class before, okay, a regular polygon uh, is going to be a however many sided shape that you want where all of the sides are the exact same length, okay? So for example, in, in the one that they have here, they have a five-sided pentagon, right? But all of the sides are the same length, okay? And the way that we determine how big the shape is, is to talk about what's called its radius, right? So the radius is, if I go from this point to any like uh, angle, right? Any vertex, right? That is how big the shape will be. So if I go to my, uh, to my sandbox again, we're gonna type in regular polygon, okay? And again, what it asks for to start, if I look at my documentation, okay, is center X, center Y, radius, and how many points, right? Which is the number of sides. Okay, so I'm gonna say, let's put this at 200, 200, okay? And the radius, we're gonna make, uh, let's say 50, okay? And then the number of sides, if I want this to be like a six-sided shape, so that would be a, a hexagon, okay? There it is, okay, I get a hexagon. If I make this a nine-sided shape, which is called a nonagon, there it is, okay? So I can do regular polygons, okay? But the, if I want 
the it's this to be bigger, I got to change the third coordinate, and now it's bigger, right? So I can do regular polygons, okay? We can also do stars, so let's talk about a star, okay? So star works the same way as regular polygons, except instead of the last number uh, being how many sides there are, it's going to be how many points there are. So I'm going to say star, okay? Again, we'll do it at 200, 200. Uh, we'll make this a nice radius 100, and I'm going to say this is going to be a five-point star. And so you can see that I get a nice star, okay? Stars, however, are a little bit weird, okay? So let's go to the star documentation so you can see this, okay? So for stars, uh, there is an, an optional parameter uh, called the roundness. Here it is, right? So this is a unique optional parameter called roundness, okay? And what roundness is, if I go down to my, my code, it says um, change how round the star is must be a number between 0 and 100. So I'm going to add that in. I'm going to say roundness, okay? equals, and let's say like 50, let's see what happens, okay? So you can see that it kind of made it like a fatter star, it's a rounder star, right? I can maybe make this like 90, okay? And you can see that it's almost looks, doesn't look like a star anymore because it's almost entirely round. If I go up to 100, right, it's like a polygon, right? It looks like a regular polygon with, with that many sides, right? So that's, that's the idea of roundness is uh, if I go all the way down to like 10, okay? It's like a very sharp looking star, right? So that's what stars are all about, is, is uh, it's the same context as, as a regular polygon, except that we, have, we can also have uh, define what the roundness is, which is how sharp or how round the object is, okay? Here's the last one, okay? And so uh, non-regular polygon. So let's say I didn't want to draw a nice pentagon, okay? Let's say I wanted to draw uh, like a, a weird four-sided shape that's not a rectangle, right? So if I want to do anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the polygon command, okay? And I'm going to specify inside of the parentheses what each of the points of the shape are. So maybe I want to start at 0, 0, okay? And then I want my next point to be at 200, 200. And then I want to go to, let's say, 100, 300, okay? And then I want to go, uh, let's see, that's three sides. We'll go to 400, uh, 0, 400, which is the bottom, okay? So let's see what this looks like, okay? Oh, that's only got three sides. Uh, so 0, 0 to 200, 200. Oh, because this one's right along the path. Let's make that out a little further. We'll make this one at maybe 200, 300. Okay, and there it is, right? So you can see that this is kind of a trapezoid shape and I was able to draw it, right? But I had to specify what each of the four coordinates are. Here's 0, 0, 200, 200, 200, 300, 0, 400, right? And I was able to draw the shape, okay? And that's it, okay? There's a lot more to CMU, uh, even with drawing, a lot of things that you can do, but that is a summary of all of unit one, okay? We have, uh, our basic shapes like rectangles, circles, ovals. We can talk about their colors. We can talk about their locations on this canvas here, right? But that's really all there is to it, okay? The one thing you should be focusing on as you're practicing this is the syntax, which means make sure you're writing it correctly, right? How, how the program is expecting and make sure that you're focusing on the parameters. If you noticed how many times through this video I went through the documentation, right? This documentation will be your best friend. It will tell you exactly what the syntax is supposed to look like, exactly the order you should be writing the parameters. It will specify what the special parameters are. These are all star specific properties, right? It'll specify all that for you and then give you some examples that you can just copy and paste right into the thing, okay? It'll also give you, and this is something I haven't pointed out, uh, it'll give you the exact lesson. So I can say that we're in CS1. If I go to lesson 1.3.5, here's a lot more information about regular polygons with some examples, right? So use that to your advantage, okay? And hopefully you will come back for uh, video number two, which will be about, well, let's say our next video, because this might be a multi-video uh, section, okay? Uh, but come back for the next video where we're going to go into section two, right? And if we go back to the course, you can see that section two, we actually start talking about some programming with, with what are called functions and mouse events, right? And we'll get a little bit more into creating some fun little drawings here. Uh, and learning about uh, some programming concepts there, okay? So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Please uh, like this video, leave any comments with questions uh, below, uh, and subscribe if you find this content useful so you get a notification every single time I put up a new video. Thanks again for watching.